first step to faster editing begins before you even open iMovie. It's much easier to see your files from Finder, so organise them there first. I go through and make sure that each file is sorted into folders based on their purpose. So here I'm editing a beauty review and as you can see I have product shots, static shots, trial shots and also audio files. I make sure that each file is named so that I can find it quickly and also because it forces me to familiarise myself with the clips that I have. Then you can drag and drop files from Finder into iMovie either into the project media folder or straight into the timeline. Or if you wanted to skip all of that you can record video directly into iMovie. You can skim through a clip by running your cursor along it to cut down on the time you spend finding the take you need. I also use the sound waves at the bottom to see when I was speaking and cut out the silences. To save scrolling time, you can search for specific files in the project media search bar, for example if you wanted to find a specific audio file. Speaking of audio tracks, if you like this song and you want to use it for yourself, then you can get it on Licked. Licked is a chart music licensing platform which allows you to use popular music in your videos without the copyright claims. Click the link in the description to get a discount on your first track. You can mark clips as favourites or rejected by holding the control key and then clicking on that file in the project media folder. This is really helpful for projects with multiple takes at the same shot. If you can't find the clip you want to favourite then you can select it in the timeline and hold shift and F and then it will highlight it for you. Speaking of keyboard shortcuts, they will make the single biggest difference in speeding up your editing. For example, using the spacebar to pause or play, backslash to play a clip from the beginning, the left and right arrow keys to move the playhead by one frame at a time, and if you hold shift, command and F, you can play a project in full screen. These things only save fractions of seconds at a time, but that time really adds up and there are hundreds of them. My advice would be to always practice using keyboard shortcuts even when you're not in a rush, because it means that it will become second nature and your editing will become so much quicker. Subscribe to this channel for more useful videos like this one and don't forget you can license this track as well as popular chart music from Lipt.